Okay, this is part two of my uh, crypt. This is the back. Keep out. I have a bunch of screws on the side. I have a plug, a computer style plug. I can just plug in and out. You don't have to worry about any cords in the back. No handle to speak of. I kind of just pry it out on there. That comes off. The plug there. Go into my transformer. 12 volt transformer. I have it soldered right on the lugs. Probably it would have been better to actually buy uh, an outlet and plug it in, but I didn't have one, so I soldered it right on the lugs. And these, L yeah, these uh, LED bulbs also run off of 12 volts. Uh, they're a 12 volt pre-wired LED bulb, and uh, I. This uh, inside here is a plastic tube, okay? I don't know, it's like a quarter inch or so tube. And I think it's actually a uh, water tube. I had it lying around the house. I put it inside of the tube and I put a wire on the tube and I wrapped the, the, uh, the uh, wire is on the outside of the tube. You don't want it on the inside because it might, uh, get like grounded with the wire. So anyway, it's on the outside and then I put black tape, two, two leads, tie them all, all together. They're all tied together. So I have five bulbs. Some of them are red, some are green, and some of them blank. And uh, here's the inside. I should kind of sweep it out. There's some crud, but uh, anyway, there's, there's my hand, okay? When it comes, uh, in the mail, it actually comes with the, with the, uh, it's almost like a cardboard extension because people put them inside of the ground. You have to cut that cardboard extension off. That's that's a uh, a plastic pole pipe, and I I had like a wood bit, and I drilled like that far in, and uh, put the pipe there. And then I put, uh, to like hold it in there, I put, uh, <laughs> what the heck was that glue? Oh, uh, Gorilla Glue, yeah. Gorilla Glue, very, very strong seal. And that's how that's set up. And then this is the motor I got from uh, electronicgoldmine.com. And uh, it's a 12 volt DC motor. Okay, and I also have a plug for that. And uh, basically, what happens is, uh, what what I did was I put uh, three standoffs here: one, two, three, three plastic standoffs underneath the the uh, standoffs that that run the actual motor. So it, so it's off this board because if it sits on it, that will uh, interfere with the mechanism. So three uh, standoffs. And then this bar I added. Notice I it was my third uh, attempt because going on on the outside made the hand move too much. So I, I like finally got it right. And then I have it's actually uh, anchored here. Okay, there's a there's a machine screw going through the plastic pipe with two nuts on on each end. Okay. Now these these nuts aren't on the actual pipe. Okay, they're actually tightened to each other. So when this pipe spins, it spins inside of this machine screw, and and these washers spin along with it. Like these these washers are actually loose, okay? Make sure that they are loose. You don't want to bolt this down to the pipe because this pipe has to move. That's that's why there's two washers. There's one on, on this side and one on, on that side, okay? And as far as this thing goes, basically, uh, I think it's a one by four. 
piece of wood I just had uh, lying around, cut at it, drilled out a hole in the top. There's a piece, that, there's actually two pieces. There's one in the back, there's one in the front. And I put the screws here so it was adjustable up or down. And uh, on the very bottom I have a piece of a two by four that I cut and glued on the bottom. And uh, that's basically that. Let me plug it in and I will show you how it works. Sorry about that. Okay. And there, there is 